In the second video on roofs, we're going to look at doing a roof by extrusion. Okay. To do a roof by extrusion, I recommend first coming into our elevations and choosing the elevation that we can draw on. So think about what shape you want your roof to be and pick the appropriate elevation. So for example in this case I want to draw mine on the south elevation. I'm going to come up to roof, roof by extrusion and it wants me to select a work plane. So I'm going to leave this all as default, click OK and my work plane is going to be this front face of my building here. It's going to come up and ask what level I want to put it on. In this case I want to put it on my roof level. Click OK and now I'll come to my draw dialog. So what it wants me to do is draw in the shape of my roof. So in this case I'm going to use my start and radius. I'm going to start about here. Come there. I'm going to have a slight angle up this way. Then I'm going to continue that on to this side of my house and I'm going to bring that arc underneath like that. So once that's done Escape out of that drawing mode, hit that green tick, go back into my 3D mode, and you can see there I now have a roof drawn to that shape that I chose. Again, I need to come along to my walls and I'll use tab to select the chain and say attach top base and attach them to the top of my roof. I can click on this roof, and as per my other roof, I can change that to a different thickness. Um, go back into edit type and edit the structure to add a material if I wish. So you can see now that with this roof that I've drawn it overhangs quite a bit on the back and quite a bit on the front here where it doesn't really need to. So if I was to click on my roof and choose edit profile unlike my roof by footprint it's only going to let me change that profile that I drew sketched earlier. So I'm going to discard that, go back here. What I want to do is use this opening option here. So I'm going to choose vertical opening. Again go to my roof floor plan to make it a bit easier to draw. And I can use any number of these tools here to create an opening. So for example here let's try a bit of an arc to cut in on that. Again this needs to be a closed shape, click that green tick and that will cut that bit of that roof out. I can add another opening on the back here, in this case I might want to choose something like a rectangle and I could have fine tuned that by actually adding dimensions in. Um, go ahead and click OK and it's cut that side out as well. So if we go back into my 3D view and my roof is looking a little bit neater. The other thing we can do with extrusion roofs is we might want to come along here and add an awning to our curtain wall down here on the first floor. So again I'm going to go onto my south elevation so I can see that wall. I'm going to choose roof by extrusion. It's going to ask me to pick a plane again. So this time I'm going to select this plane here. It's going to ask me what level I want it on. Well in this case it's actually on the ground floor. Click OK and draw in my new roof. And use the arc tool again and just have a slight curve on that roof like so. Escape, click that green tick, go back into 3D mode and you can see when you do that it thinks of it as a roof so it's tried to adjust that automatically for the whole length of my house. So I can come over here and manually change these dimensions. So my extrusion start, I want it about 500 away from my house. Click apply and you can see that brings that out the front. Then the back of it, if I change that to 0, it's going to line that up to that wall there. I could also use these toggles to finally tune that, say that didn't come out as far as I want. Might also want to come along here and change that to 125. 
You can see that's kept the tile texture because I never duplicated my roof, so I'd have to duplicate that first if I wanted to add a different material on that particular awning. And that completes the roofs by extrusion.